Yo, what's up everybody? It's Stefan here from Mod to Fame and we are back with part two of the world domination with the Hellcat, man. That's right. Y'all saw part one when the car was completely stocked and we coming back at you right now. Let's jump into it. Let's go. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? I'm sorry. I was just out here reminiscing on all the amazing times and the gappage that we've done, the damage that we've done with the Hellcat, man. That's right. For those of you that don't know, Cheapo Kitty, if you didn't see part one, I posted up a video, 13 races and a completely stock manual transmission Hellcat. And you're going to see all the domination that we did when it was stocked. Now, what we did, as soon as I got tired of running the car stock, I was like, all right, it's stock power. I had did all the aesthetic mods and all that that I could do, lowered wheels, uh, wide body, um, red bottoms in terms of the bottoms of the car, uh, custom diffuser, tent, all the stuff that I could do to make the car look cooler. I was like, all right, well, now it's time to go fast. So the first thing that we did was partner up with your boys at Diablo Sport. Diablo Sport is a is a amazing company as far as their PCM systems, their their tuning capabilities, and what you can do with it. So partnered up with Diablo Sport and got the Trinity Three, as well as I got the upgraded PCM. Threw all of that stuff in. In addition to that, I coupled it with um, a JLT intake and stainless works mid pipes. So I put all of that together and the car actually did this horsepower with that setup. And here we go, getting ready to get these stainless work joints in. Let's start up cheapo. see that room that's you know what I'm, i need to i need to turn so y'all can really hear what i'm saying to you bro bro 716 wheel horsepower with the dyno show the run before that it shows 719 so basically give or take 720 wheel horsepower from just a diablo sport tune which is their basic you know nothing crazy uh a tune it's not that aggressive but it adds 30 wheel horsepower. It did it, my car went from 664 to 690. 
uh, 690 like three or something like that so it added 30 wheel horsepower which is what they advertise uh, and then adding the intake and uh, catless mids the car went up to 720 wheel and I just want to let you guys know this is on stock boost stock boost so stock boost these are the runs that the car had Yo, this car, bro, was absolutely running strong with only 720 wheel horsepower. I know I said only because I just dynoed the Hellcat Red Eye, which is completely stock, and that car dynoed 702 with an automatic transmission. Manual cars usually dyno a little bit higher. There's less drivetrain loss because uh, of no stall converter and all that kind of stuff. So then next up, it was like, all right, cool. You know how it is. You're never satisfied. You always want more. So then this is when our relationship with Team Hellcat began. Um, Team Hellcat is the tuner for the car and got the car running strong. So what we did was we added a 2.80 pulley from Grip Tech. Uh, ZPE Grip Tech is the company and that's the technology that they add. The, there is like a, they have three different levels of grip that they can add to a pulley. So it's not just smooth. Their technology is absolutely amazing and it cuts down on any possibility for belt slip. So I threw on a 2.80 pulley and that's all I did and Team Hellcat did the tuning. And with 93 octane, with some boostane mixed in, if you wanna order some boostane, Mod Defane 10 is your discount for 10% off on boostane. But using 93 octane mixed with a little boostane, the car did this. Yo, Eric, is it normal that people get nervous before their car goes on the dyno? Absolutely. Why is that? <laughs> what do you so, think it is? I mean, you see it every day, so. Uh, the thing is, the, the adrenaline to know either you're gonna make or break that bank with the engine either exploding or staying together by choosing the right tuner. <laughs> what did he just say? Holy shit. Yo, Eric, no, to self. Don't say like that. Oh, I, I, don't, I feel worse. Hey, you hired me, so it's gonna be okay. Mm. That's those other thank guys God. you gotta worry about. Thank God, thank God, cause it's those other guys. Oh, I don't, I don't want no parts of that. I don't want no parts don't of that. Give those guys the money. All I know is that um, locally, you the man around here, bro. Thank God. 
you're the man around here. So I had to go with who who running things. All right, initial startup. Eric, so what you thinking, man? We we done for the night? We made 820. Very the, pleased we're making 800 horsepower on the 280 pulley supplied by Crypto. Same. 802. 802 to the wheels on 93 with a little bit of boost tank. And to be honest with you, the boost tank was only an added measure for security. Um, these cars are capable of running damn near close to that 800 wheel uh, on 93. So once i did that it was go time it was race everybody time so these are the runs that i had at 800 wheel horsepower don't end it don't end and it goes on 
and it goes on man yo i get so hyped looking back at these races because i had so many of them that were absolutely amazing fast cars too no slow cars really fast cars but 800 wheel horsepower was very nice but we had a little bit more to go we had a little bit more to squeeze out so we went from a 2.80 pulley to a 2.50 pulley changing nothing else just 250 along with everything else being the same so just the pulley oh sorry when i did the 280 pulley i did injectors id 1050 injectors i had to do injectors the stock injectors don't hold up so id 1050 injectors 280 now i went down to a 2.50 pulley um we're going down to the 2.50 pulley the car was making about 850 to about 860 wheel horsepower somewhere in that range uh it went from uh 15 pounds of boost which is what it was running uh on a 280 it was running about actually it was running about 17 pounds of, no 15 pounds of boost yes 15 pounds of boost and with the 250 it, i had seen 19 pounds of boost is what it was running so this is on 19 pounds of boost 850 to 860 wheel horsepower amazing runs check it out Listen, I need y'all to understand there's no such thing as a slow McLaren 720. There's no such thing as a slow McLaren 570 with tune, downpipes, race gas. No such thing, man. And y'all saw that I was able to pull those cars out. My man, I need y'all to understand something. Fam, that car at that time was making about 850 to 860 wheel what do you think is going to happen now that we've added a 10 percent lower from ati uh we we moved back up the pulley to the 280 pulley but two 10 percent lower and a ported blower from joker's performance i got their race prep race stage blower now what do you think is going to happen now what do you think is going to happen this car is going to be this car is going to be stupid. It's going to be like stupid quick. Like really, really, really quick. I mean, dare I say it, fast. So, y'all heard it, man. That's what it is, bro. That is what is to come. We are not calling this car Cheapo Kitty anymore because we put a lot into it now. Um, now this car is uh, upper, lower, ported blower, ice tank, uh, I, I moved to FIC injectors now because I'm going 1200 CC injectors. I took out the 1050s because we're going full E85. I'm running full E85 now. Um, what else? Intake, catalyst mids. Uh, what else did we do? Four innovation fuel rails. Um, four innovation dual fuel pumps. This car is like serious now. It's serious, man. We touched on the fuel system. We got all, we getting all the boost out of it and we are gonna send it, man. And I cannot wait. This week coming, guys, we're gonna have the first startup of the car with all the new mods. 
and you guys are just gonna follow the journey from here not to mention the red eye still coming out uh, with the upgraded diff from the 262 to the 309s um, that car is staying stock otherwise but we got a little surprise for that car coming out too that we leaked it in the previous video if you saw it you saw it if not go back and check it now but listen guys much appreciated i really really cannot wait for y'all to see what happens in 2020 given the situation yes there's rona yes there's all of this all of that people walking by so you know what i'm saying back though for the safety of people and for the safety of me <laughs> i don't know if y'all can hear me not or not but uh Anyway, it's your boy Stefan here from Mod to Fame. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos going forward. It's your boy, like I said, man, and uh, here reminiscing. We out. We out.